So this is the three bolt auto locking hubs from a 1996 Ford Bronco. What you want to do is to turn this into this. This is the one I've already rebuilt, I repacked, and I made sure that it was clean. And inside here is a center snap ring that is difficult to get apart. Brick cleaner helped that a lot. So now you can see those two pinholes really well. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Finally, a little growling. That is the pin or the lock ring. See how small those are? And these are my bad ones, but even those just barely fit. You have to get them just right. These are my good ones. Yes, I know they have removable tips on them and I could change those, but you know, whoever knows where they put the interchangeable tips. All right, so now we should be able to take this apart. So these uh, three crowns here, it's actually a another piece that you have to put on first before reassembling this. I'll show you. And it's got suction on it. Let's see if we can't get it out. That's what she said. After a lot of brake cleaner and a lot of pounding and prying, I finally got this to separate get the bearing to separate off the pedestal. So now, it is, seems to be coming off. There. Wow. That was tremendous. Okay. So there you see, that is the gear. This is the castle gear, or whatever they call it. And this is the internals. And you can see by all that gunk down there why it didn't want to move. It was creating a suction of sorts. So I am going to clean that out and then come back and repack this and put it back together. Now when you are tearing this apart, you will question your sanity. You will question whether it was just that one snap ring holding it together. You will question whether or not it actually comes apart. There we go. Mostly clean and I am going to get a new glove for this. But to get down in there, I recommend using a brush of some sort to at least start in getting down into the nooks and crannies. Actually, what we might do is take a big glob of this. 
Get that down in there. And then take the brush. Push it around. Just use your regular high temp bearing grease. Once we got that all lubed up. Ah, I almost forgot, didn't I? I almost forgot. Again. Just fix that up. Now don't forget to put the castle gear. Internal gear before you insert the internal gear, or you're going to take it apart. Like so. I'm going to take one of my gloves off. So after much trial and error, I got it in there. I'm just going to take a socket and a rubber mallet. And I went around the edges here on the inside of that castle gear and just tapped it down to make sure it was seated. So on one side of the snappering of the holes here, I held it down to where it was going into the groove of the, of the pedestal. And then I took the small um, screwdriver and I went inside and I pried it over. And that gave me enough uh, to have it sit on that pedestal that's on the inside and then go around with my screwdrivers and push it the rest of the way down. And that's how I ended up getting it off. So, using one screwdriver to hold it down, and then about 180 degrees behind it, I was able to get a small screwdriver in behind there and pry it over, and then just start pushing it down. That took forever, a lot longer than what I expected it to. So, I got both of them done. But these are the original ones, the old ones. I think I showed these earlier. But I can't use these anymore because if you'll notice, this castle uh, gear is missing the gears. It's flat. They're all sheared off. <laughs> 